So right now at STEM School, we have assembled a 3D printer farm of about 70 3D printers uh, collected from the Volkswagen e-labs, uh, the maker spaces, the STEM labs all over the uh, Hamilton County School District. Um, we've got them here at STEM and we are 3D printing um, headbands and assembling face shields uh, to help supply our uh, medical uh, personnel here in the community. Um, we're hoping to have 500 plus out by next week uh, with the goal of eventually getting to, uh, to 15,000 to meet the need in the region. We've got the largest fabrication K-12 anywhere in the world. Why are we not doing this? My wife um, works over at Erlanger and um, they have a huge shortage there. Uh, she called her medical director, her medical director called somebody else. Um, and we're like, let's do this. So Michael um, and Kristen Burris reached out and said, hey, let's get all the stuff over at STEM school, right? Let's get it in one place where we can house all of them. Uh, right now we're starting with the materials that we have. A lot of our initial prototypes were materials that we use in the e-lab. Right, that, that our Hamilton County Schools already had. We feel really good about our design for the face shield. A lot of those blueprints are all over the internet. Not many communities have access to be able to make their own safe shields like we can. It's just, it's a group of teachers who are donating their time and a group of community members who've gotten together, made the design, vetted it, uh, got it approved for medical use. And uh, it's been quite quite uh, exciting to see. Certainly these are unprecedented and dire times, but we're, we're excited to be able to give back and support the men and women who are on the front lines in the medical community, uh, really confronting this virus head on.